Hey, welcome to Wilson's World. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Dreamcast. Not just a Dreamcast, but actually a very, very good mod. Now, the Dreamcast was a great system. It had a lot of great games. Uh, these are just the ones in my collection. But, you know, these games were on proprietary media called uh, GD-ROMs. They were actually like a high-dense uh, high CD. And they had to have a special laser to actually play the dense area and then also it could also play the regular CD area of these discs. Now the Dreamcast is very well built but it does have an issue if you use it and play a lot what's probably going to fail on it is the GD-ROM laser. Now this is a problem because since it's proprietary you can't just swap out or go find it easily or you actually can't find it at all. You have to replace the entire unit from another Dreamcast some people have tried to do some hacks where they convert like PC CD-ROMs or DVD-ROMs to work with the Dreamcast, but it doesn't work well. It's kind of flaky and it's not a good long-term solution. So the best solution really is to actually get rid of the GD-ROM. Now there's a Russian guy named Nemo and he makes a board that replaces the entire uh, GD-ROM board and lets you use a thumb drive. Now I kept the housing of the GD-ROM because for thermal reasons, which I'll explain in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, there's actually no components in here. It's empty. Instead, what's taken its place is a thumb drive. Now this thumb drive is 128 gigs and it holds pretty much every Dreamcast game I want. The only thing is it's best if it's a USB 2.0 thumb drive and when you format it, you have to format it as FAT32 with a 64K cluster size. That way you won't, won't run into any issues. Uh, now, this board basically, like I said, replaces the entire GD-ROM. And the Dreamcast itself is pretty well built and very modular. So this is one of the easiest mods I've done. There's really only two things to do, which is uh, take out the original uh, GD-ROM board and basically screw in Nemo's board to that metal plate which I'll show you in a second and then one more uh, mod would be a resistor once again for a thermal reason so I'll explain in a second but here's basically the board um, well here's the modular Dreamcast uh, basically it's one connector that connects uh, the motherboard to the GD-ROM board and, and the power supply so that that's the one connector there. Uh, Nemo's board has the matching connector. That's the whole board right there. It's just one piece. Uh, there's the connector that's going to snap in and it's basically screwed on to the metal plate that used to hold the GD-ROM uh, board. So uh, once you screw that on, what you can do is line it up to that connector. Uh, make sure it's lined up and then you uh, push gently in there once it's lined up and it'll just snap into place. Now, because the way the Dreamcast was designed, it's expecting something to be blocking there. Uh, so I put a little piece of tape there. So the Dreamcast sucks in the airflow from the back and it goes out that right fan. So what you want to do is just kind of put a little piece of tape or cardboard to block the bottom of uh, that board that way it ensures that the air flows around the left side the power supply down to the front and out the right side so I put that piece of tape um, the other thing is since it doesn't use all the connections on that connector it leaves the open uh, 12 volt rail kind of floating and that can cause the power supply to get hotter than normal now you can uh, prevent that by putting a I believe it's 330 ohms. If it's not correct, I'll put it up in the title, but put a resistor across the ground and that 12 volt rail so it can dissipate some of the heat there and not overheat your power supply. 
because the last thing you want to do is burn out your power supply or potentially burn out the board because the board uh, wasn't cheap but it's definitely uh, well worth it so let's assume that uh, you've installed the board uh, basically it's just screwing the, those three screws to hold it down and even then you don't even have to really do that because the board's pretty snug in there once it snaps in but just to be uh, complete you, you should screw it in there you know, in case you move your Dreamcast or something, you wouldn't want it pop, popping off, even though that would be extremely uh, unlikely. So that, that's it. Like I said, it's one of the easiest mods. You just swap out the board, uh, format your thumb drive, uh, put your either, there's two formats for uh, Dreamcast games. There's the CDIs that are basically the kind that you download and burn. If you want to play them just on the regular Dreamcast, the burn copies. And even then, that's not a good idea because burn copies will wear out your laser even quicker because it has to crank up the power. And the other format are the GDIs, which are pretty much one-for-one -one dumps of actual Dreamcast games. So those, those are the ones that you want to get. And, and no, Nemo's mod will run both of them. So uh, here's just basically a little demonstration. Like you said, you, that file format looks very crude. But once you boot up the games, they run great. And if anything, they actually run a little bit better because even though the thumb drive is only USB 2.0, it still uh, loads a little bit faster than uh, the GD ROMs. Now, there's some other mods where you can boot the games off of like an SD card using the serial port on the Dreamcast, but that's extremely slow and a lot of games really don't work well. There's also, I think, another board that just emulates the GD ROM. I think that one's called the GDMU, but that one has a lot of limitations. It doesn't have a UI. Somebody eventually wrote one, but this UI and all this is done by one guy, Nemo. So if there's any issues, he responds. He'll. If there's any issues with any games, but right now I believe it has like 100% compatibility. But if there were any issues, people have emailed him, and he's updated the firmware within. A day or so so this will always be current uh, you know like I say he doesn't communicate a lot but he is a sharp guy and knows what he's doing now uh, he is a slow to communicate so if you do want to get one of these you have to email him it'll take a month for him to respond he will respond and then you pay him by PayPal and then it'll take about another month for him to get you the unit because it is coming from Russia now, right here, I'm showing just uh, what is this uh, NCNK versus Capcom. One of these games that right now it's kind of overpriced on the market, but you can download either the GDI or CDI and give it a test run and decide if you really want to buy it for your collection. Like I said, this thing isn't for piracy, it's for convenience and for you to test out some games. Uh, it is region free, so it will let you play games from other regions. Like here, this was a Europe-only release that I'm playing on here. But this is just a quick video to get you familiar with the GD, uh, USB GD-ROM, if you're not familiar with it, by Nemo, and show you that it does work, and basically uh, letting you know that he is reliable and he will uh, send it to you. You just need to be patient. Thanks, uh, like, and subscribe.